you can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script tips if you have an Access database you want to make a backup copy with all these objects copied into the backup database. How you make tables, queries, forms, reports, macros and modules, I will not go into this situation. But you will find that in my CD-ROM, your access to the world. You can find it at genesispc.com and it discusses all possible issues in access. That's not what we are going to discuss here. I want you to see how you can use Access VBA to make a copy of this database and including all the objects that you see in this left panel. That is done in VBA. I will not go into all the details about VBA, but I made a CD-ROM that you can also find at genesispc.com that discusses all kind of VBA issues that you may not know about or have heard about but don't know enough about it. So let's go to VBA Alt F11 and I started in module 1 a subroutine that I happen to call backup. I declare the variable of the date type and then I ask the user when do you want to make a backup copy. You can either do that very soon after the current time, in my case five seconds later, or you can eliminate this part and just do that one and say I want that to be done at six o'clock at night. In case someone cancels that input box we get an error for D time expects a date and it doesn't get a date. So we use an on error resume next statement and if there is an error then we exit the sub. Then we are going to find out when is it time to do the backup. So that will be the current time plus a certain time that I specified here which you can make as long as you want every, every two hours for instance. So we do until the time, the current time becomes equal to D time and we loop. We don't do anything here, we do a do event statement. Do event means just let the system do whatever else needs to be done but we keep running through that loop. Then we are going to declare two variables, one of the string type and one of the DAO database type. So you need a reference, usually done under tools, references, and you have to make sure that in the references that you are, in my case, access database engine object is activated. Not only access object library but also that one. If that doesn't load for whatever reason, in my case that doesn't load because I have a 64-bit machine then I have to find this guy somewhere. You do that while you make your VBA code but later on we may have a problem when we copy this code into a new database then it can't find that DAO database. So we will work on that later on. Then I'm going to uh, find the file name. We use the, the path of the current project. Space ampersand space. Don't forget the space spaces. Then a backslash. And then we use today's date in the single month digit, single day did, digit to y digit and we hook onto it .mdb or if you are working with a newer version of access adjust that access db. If that file does 
exist already then kill it so we need need to create a new one and then we set ODB which is of the database type of the DAO object to the database engine workspaces 0.create database with the name as file language general and close ODB you can put an hourglass on true if you want to then later on we will set it back to no then we are going to do the first loop we are going to loop through all the table definitions in the current database we use a variable to do so of the table definition type for each OTD in all table definitions there are many more table definitions than you are aware of probably uh, Microsoft makes its own and it starts that always with M S Y S if the left of the name the four left characters is MSS if that is not the case then make a copy of it a do command copy object as file of the access table type and use OTD dot name you can also use this line okay that does it a copy of the table definitions then we need a copy of the query definitions Excel has many uh, access has many more queries than you think it when it makes its own queries it starts with that tilde so if the first character is not that tilde then we need a copy of it of course you can copy all the other ones too if you want to then don't use that if statement then we have to copy all the forms we make that happen for the current project all forms and use o form as an object type variable and do the same thing again make sure that you change that into ac form o form name then we do something similar for a report all reports collection in the current project copy all of them and then we do something for the modules project current project all modules of the AC module type and then if you have macros in your database and we will have macros very soon then current project all macros copy all of them use a variable of the object type set the hourglass back and maybe you should tell the user your backup is stored in the same folder how can we run that sub we can rub it run it manually but it's probably much better to run it automatically so what uh, we are going to implement not a sub but a function and I call that function auto run that is my invention call it whatever you want and we are going to call that auto run function through the macro auto execute when you call a macro in access auto execute it will run any time you open the database and I will show you how you implement that code so in the auto run one we do very simple things we finally call the backup subroutine that we made above this function it's a subroutine this is a function uh, and then in case we have a problem with a reference then just store the name and the address of that reference in, in my case but you may not be able to use this one because you don't have office 15 or you may not have a 64-bit machine then you don't have to do this but if there is a reference that you need to reference explicitly store it in s file and then we add from file to the collection of references in the active vb project we implement s file if it exists already we get an error and it will just go to backup now the question is how do you make that auto run run automatically as i said that is done in a macro and that macro here is called auto execute start a macro and that macro is very simple 
you use the action run code. So you would call that from here, run code. I did that already, so I don't have to do it again. But when you do that, you have to make sure that you will always see the function name auto run. And don't forget open close parentheses because it is a function. You have to open and close the parentheses. Auto run was the function we just created in VBA. But run code is a macro option. And that macro option will take care of everything. So now we should be able, each time we open this database, we should get the question, what do you want to do? And I will show you how to do it. I'm going to close the database. I open it again. And it will automatically ask me, do you want to copy in five seconds later? And it says it's all stored in the same folder. So I'm going to close this one. And there is my, I did this on February 24th. So when I open this one, it should have all the code. I'm going to cancel this time because it's a backup. It has my modules, my macros, my reports, my forms, my queries, my tables. VBA is very powerful. So you want to make sure that you can do much more than what I just showed you. Genesispc.com